Have you ever wondered if there's something that you could do today, something simple that would make a huge impact on sleep? I'm Katherine Govea, Certified Pediatric Sleep Consultant and founder of Cloud9 Sleep Consulting, and that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. We're going back to basics. If there are only three things that you could do tonight that would make a huge impact on your sleep for you and for your little one, they'd be these three things. We wanna make sure that that room is cool. We wanna make sure that that room is dark. And we wanna make sure that that room is quiet and free from distractions. So the ideal temperature for sleep is between 68 and 72 degrees. If your room runs much warmer than that or much cooler than that, you might need to adapt pajamas, blankets, sleep sacks, and all the rest so that your little one can maintain a consistent body temperature all night long. We wanna make sure that that room is dark for two reasons, right? One, it will minimize distractions. If they can't see toys on the other side of the room or shadows on the wall, it will make their job of falling asleep so much easier. The second reason why a dark room is important is because our bodies produce melatonin. That's a sleepy hormone, and that's a hormone that's only released in the dark. So if the room is too bright, we're kind of fighting against our, our own body, right? So make sure that room is dark so that it will be easy for your little one to fall asleep when it's time. We also wanna make sure that the room is quiet and free from distractions, right? So turn off TVs and radios and all the rest, but using some form of white noise can be really helpful in mitigating any environmental sounds that could be triggering a wake up or just making it difficult to settle for sleep. A fan works really well. If you have a sound machine, that works great too. We're looking for consistent noise, about the same level of sound that you'd hear from a shower running full blast if you're standing in the bathroom. Those are all pretty simple and easy things that you can do to make some serious change to your sleep. So I hope you give it a try tonight and let me know how it goes.